Aaron Paint System on display at the Computer History Museum in Revolution, the first 2000 years of computing. It was following this success that Cohen began exploring the creation of Aaron in 1973, which has been in constant development ever since. Initial versions of Aaron created abstract drawings that grew more complex throughout the first decade of its existence. This imagery later became more representational into the 1980s. First rocks, then plants, then people, in the 1990s. This transitioned into figures set within interiors. Aaron then returned to more abstract imagery, this time in color. In the early 2000s, previously, the drawings were done by the drawing machine or printed on plotters, and Cohen would insert color by hand. Teaching the program to color was one of Cohen's biggest challenges. He said, there was no color monitor when I started. So, there was no way to talk about colors with the machine. Later, the main problem was that my program was smart enough to do the drawings, but I had to come over and color the drawing afterwards. The program does not have eyes, so it could not have the same visual feedback system that a human being colorist has. Instead of thinking about what it couldn't do, I started to think about what it could do, and I suddenly realized that the computer can do something that human beings can't. Once it makes marks in color, it has an impeccable memory of what was there. The program started to color adequately.